The singularity at the heart of a black hole is both astronomically heavy and infinitesimally small. To understand it, quantum mechanics alone wasn't enough. It needed to be extended to describe gravity, a theory called quantum gravity. The most obvious way to create such a theory was to make a quantum version of Einstein's theory of relativity. Proof of its success would be a new understanding of black holes that explained what really happens in a singularity. This is the Lagrangian of Einstein's theory, the dimensional determinant of the metric tensor times the contracted Ricci curvature tensor. When physicists tried to combine the two theories, they encountered a familiar problem. I insert this into the probability that gravity will move from one point to another point. When I actually do this calculation, I get yet another integral. And when you do this integral, you get something which makes no sense whatsoever. An infinity. Total nonsense. In fact, you get an infinite sequence of infinities, infinitely worse than the divergences of Einstein's original theory. This is a nightmare beyond comprehension. The search for a theory of quantum gravity had fallen apart because quantum mechanics and general relativity proved to be totally incompatible. Well, it's awful. It means that physics is having a nervous breakdown. It means the collapse of physics as we know it, you know. Something is fundamentally wrong. Nature is smarter than we are.